so hello everyone welcome to the learning express youtube channel so today i am going to introduce you people with uh, mr kvr who is placed in uh, samsung uh, for the analog profile so today we will discuss uh, some important questions uh, and he will explain about the plan how he prepared and most important thing is that we will discuss the questions uh, which i am uh, continuously getting over the linkedin that what about this branch uh, actually he is from instrumentation and uh, a signal processing branch which is now changed to instrumentation and integrated electronics this is my branch so he will explain his journey and uh, what exactly he faced during the preparation of uh, placements and uh, important thing is that uh, uh, how this branch is uh, going to play the important role because this is the major question about the branch uh, and the placement of this branch so yes i'll start with the questions so yeah mr kvr uh, my first question to you is that uh, how did you start your placement journey yeah my well uh, hi anuj yes. how are you uh, i am fine okay actually my placement journey start from in the month of uh, june actually we got inspired from our seniors because they are also placed in the yamaha rolls in texas instruments and samsung like that okay. and this this department will give some insight into that yamaha domain and give some compared to vlsc this department also booming day by day okay. so that's why we are thinking that uh, this is very good department and also we started from the seniors and got inspired and how to prepare their up me and asked the seniors and they have they told that uh, uh, do these things like uh, prepare the papers from and taking the analog notes and uh, revise those who are completed in the course work and so uh, actually so at that time uh, this branch was also uh, instrumented in signal processing your senior side mm. okay yes. uh, so this was uh, so can say uh, what were the difficulties you faced during your placement preparation or i can say uh, as the uh, branch was the maybe the concern that uh, it is were like instrumentation and mm -hmm. signal processing mm -hmm. so if we are looking for a vlsi placement it might be the concern is yeah. it, it, this was like yeah actually what happens is i am coming from the ec background okay so actually we are, we are very well, well with this uh, what we call analog and digital things yes yes but we are not good at in software field okay so instrumentation is like uh, and i heard from the seniors and i i go through the previous placement strategies okay. and uh, their uh, what we call bar charts like that and many of the places the uh, very very of the students are getting good placements in vls domain okay so we think that oh there is a hope for that uh, we we will also def definitely got placed in vl uh, vls companies okay so uh, the difficulties we are faced is in that in that uh, when i after completion of this written test okay and many of the companies are not taking this instrumentation guys yes many and this department also because they are focusing also main... problem with the electrical department yes, yes, coming yes. to the picture that companies are like uh, don't uh, even take the uh, written test yeah, yeah yeah mainly they are uh, mainly focusing on uh, because we are electrical guys we don't want yes, yes. we are only ec guys and we are say they, they only much more they put much much more interest on electronics guys and so in, in fact even though they don't ask what whatever your background was at the time of yeah. bachelor degree yeah, yeah so yeah. they are simply looking at you are in electrical department in iit yes, yes, so yes. they are not going to take yes, this the that is, that is the problem with this uh, happen in, the, in my case and they told that uh, we are asked for intel case also intel has shortlisted all of the ec guys okay. but didn't take any of the electrical guy Okay. and we also got uh, and inform that uh, we are also preparing for uh, vlsi companies and please look at it once and take the electrical guys also so these are very difficulties and we are face like we are in the situation of are what department care problem and okay, okay. we are also giving our best okay, we okay. thinking with that our department is going to best but why these guys are not putting interest on uh, electrical guys and we are struggled a lot at the time and when they um given written like written test uh, uh, shortlist a list and it was so much hectic at the time so uh, can you please list down the, which companies uh, mainly allowed you people uh, the electrical people means uh, mm -hmm. this are branch was allowed and which companies do not allow or didn't allow yeah, yeah, yeah good question but most of the various companies allowed for writing the written test okay and uh, like intel and samsung texas instruments and lot of others and many more uh, nxp semiconductors nvidia and micron but actually micron is not came the lab for my, my case okay and uh, all of the companies who are learning this uh, is background they are allowing okay. for writing they are allowing but when they are going to shortlist they will check the department okay. that is the problem 
So yeah. uh, what about the TSMC and Qualcomm? Uh, TSMC and Qualcomm is also taking the some students from this uh, okay. branch. But they are not giving that much importance to this, uh, what we call from application instrumentation. They are going to give importance to their assessments. Okay. Okay. Qualcomm is taking, uh, actually Qualcomm is seeing very good like uh, uh, CGPA okay. and all these things. So they so mainly focus on the CGPA part. CGPA and VLS and EC department like that. Okay, they so are, there is a major they, they And they are, take, they are taking the students from Qualcomm also, for my case. But they are taking for multimedia like that. Okay. okay. They are, those who are taking the projects yes, in yes, that yes. domain, they will allow. Okay. They are going to allow. So now I am coming to exactly you uh, placed in uh, Samsung. So I will ask about the your... Uh, preparation resources and uh, books you followed or, or, or any channels you followed for mm -hmm. your preparation. Mm -hmm. So can you please mention these things? Okay, um, for uh, following actually I watched this uh, Chimbi and lectures for Emma for okay. uh, RC Chimbi. circuits uh, Chimbi and T. Okay. And uh, for RC circuits and RC circuit and basics of networks. Okay. And after that uh, I, I follow the Rajavi book and I studied only two chapters and basic chapters of uh, what we call MOSFET. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, I go. I went for uh, this. Uh, actually, I am doing project in uh, band gap reference circuits. Yes, yes. So I will follow that uh, chapter in that Javi. Uh, and also, I saw the papers from. I taken some papers from seniors. Okay. And we gathered the papers, and we we are a group of four members or three members, and okay. we discuss the things. And some students are solving. And if I have doubt with, I am ask my friend, okay. and we clarify okay. those things. So uh, like that, we are prepared. Okay, okay. So, any special books that you like to mention, or uh, we'll get the time to uh, read the book, or we'll uh, we should follow some questions only. What about, about the books? Yeah, but uh, my suggestion is uh, not do, go too much into that book. Okay. The basics are important. Basics yes, from yes. and study the first two chapters, whatever in their basics of MOSFETs okay. and basics of uh, means you need to write down the gain expressions yes, yes. and gain, gain and input dependence or input dependence. And you need to calculate that, and you need to learn intuitively. And these things will be in Bahadur uh, Rajiv book. Those are yes, very yes, fine. Yes, are and that is that is sufficient. After that, you go for the YouTube channel RC and RLC circuits, and we practice the RC and RLC circuits by changing the yeah, capacitor. Yeah, I have seen many times that their companies are continuously asking questions over the RC circuits. Mm -hmm. Many times RC circuits. Mm -hmm. So I think it's an important thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So uh, yes. Uh, did you prepare for a digital profile also? And what about the digital profile? Because this, uh, as I'm seeing in this my first uh, two semester, there is a no course allotted for us people to prepare for the digital mainly. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we had the option to opt the uh, electives, yes. but we didn't get any elective also. Yes. So what about the preparation of digital profile? Yeah, digital profile is high, but what what uh, what happens is uh, digital ke liye a bahut sa uh, syllabus yes it is a big syllabus uh, very uh, as a good competition and also. good competition because uh, for digital case not only coming from VLSA but RF is there communication department all are uh, very much uh, they are much more interested they are, they are much more interested in analog okay. they mainly focus on digital because digital ke liye uh, vacancies are very high yes and yes, most yes. of the guys thinking like that and digital, most of the members are, uh, most companies are taking most guys from, uh, from for digital profile. So everyone thinking like that. But what happens is in my case, but the digital uh, digital profile, no one is interested. Means no company is interested to take much okay. more guys for so, digital profile. Yeah. So, so digital is uh, one of the good good one. But syllabus is very uh, very high, mm -hmm. and the competition is very 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 high. And yeah. Uh, they are main focusing also on uh, VLSA courses because VLSA guys have completed most of the courses and they are doing projects in the digital profile. But in our department, instrumentation department won't allow to do projects in digital. Okay. So that is also one of the drawback. Yes, can be drawback and uh, 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 advantageous thing is that uh, we are continuously getting opportunity to perform good projects and learning good things in analog domain. Yeah, no, so yes, analog yes. side is better for this branch. No, yes, yes, analog domain is very very yes, good yes. in this branch. So yes. my next question is, what a new person can think about this branch? As people are curious to know about its placements and concerns in the VLSA domain. Mm. So people are continuously asking this thing. Then, uh, so if a new person want to join this branch, I I now it is I I E. Mm. So what uh, he can expect from this branch? Yeah. 
actually in vlsc we have uh, in ec department we have vlsc vlsc branch yes how it is like that that similar one is in electrical department this is not oh. the, this is very good what we call is a, a separation between instrumentation signal processing to instrumentation and integrated, uh, integrated yeah. electronics yes so this is good because they are giving pure instrumentation and uh, analog analog stuff uh. and instrumentation stuff yes, yes and whatever the device stuff somewhat so uh, something is additional after changing its name from signal processing to integrated electronics yeah something happened because yeah. in that my case we are study some signal processing courses and instrumentation course means some what we call depth courses and bit courses okay. so, so less uh, amount of uh, 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 for analog when yeah. this time it is good it, it's good means the poor, poor uh, complete uh, focus is on analog analog, analog and instrumentation yes, yes. so this time i also got this soc lab mm -hmm. whatever i studied in class to perform in labs or over the cadence so mm -hmm. cadence is a big tool here yes, yes. Uh -huh. so what do you say a few points about the cadence how it helped you during your uh, projects and uh, Because it is a very important tool to for analog profile. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, cadence is we are going to design circuits and we need to understand. Actually, if you are design in pen and paper, yes. that is one design. But when you are going to the simulation, yes. that is you are seeing very lot of uh, what we call difficulties. Okay. Oh, uh, so we need to understand the environment. environment. Yes, yes, yes. We are whatever you learn, you need to apply, na. When you are you are applying in the cadence only, you can learn the concept. clearly okay how how this mass transistor is working so how this whatever changing. the basic concept we have seen throughout the books from uh, rajabin and any other book any so other we can understand how the characteristics are coming and what the body effect and other effects are going to play a significant role in that yes. schematic we can see there mm -hmm. so now my last question is what uh, would you uh, uh, what would your message to the audience because people are listening you uh -huh. and so what is your uh, message to the people uh, my message is uh, whatever branch suppose this iie branch is now it is very good and the uh, faculty is very good also they are providing very very good stuff nearly as compared to the VA, vlsc department in ec so once you come into this and you need to one thing the you need to revise very very strong with the fundamentals and basics and after that for going to the uh, placement scenario you first uh, if you ask your seniors first thing is ask your seniors or uh, watch some youtube youtube channels okay and and learn the concepts how they are prepared and how they are got, got papers and and once you have now you need to uh, practice yourself and you need to check where i am and after that uh, if you have any doubts and ask your friends like that and you need to um, get clarify with those things and for interview for interview case you are uh, like uh, very strong. they are only checking with your fundamentals not only uh, don't, don't go into the deep inside that and the final thing is always Okay, friends. So I would like to say at the end, uh, he tried to explore or can explain all the basic things, uh, what the branch is and how this analog it supports the analog profile and uh, is, as its name is changed to uh, uh, integrated electronics at the end. So it is a uh, additional look for the analog profile. A little bit concerned about the digital, but if you are thinking to uh, go to or to build your uh, VLSI profile, you can surely build uh, this thing. he explained all the things and whatever resources he followed you can watch this thing very carefully and before joining this branch you can uh, see this um, what he explained about because this was the concern of the people that what is uh, is uh, placements and what about uh, it's mainly uh, uh, course and curriculum so he tried to uh, uh, explain all the things so i think uh, this is enough for this uh, uh, this particular interview session and you will be definitely benefited so thank you people